Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am back with another five random facts that you never need to know about me. As a recap, I started this series on my blog quite a while ago, something like four years ago, and I did it for a few weeks, and then I stopped doing it. Now I'm bringing it back on YouTube, and what I have been doing is I have been going back to the original posts on my blog and redoing those until I run out. Tonight is the last one on my blog. I'll be doing random facts 26 through 30. And then starting from this point forward, I will have to be making up new random facts. Which is good because some of these random facts are old and outdated and may not make sense anymore. But let's just get right into it. I will link you back to this blog post which has a very weird photoshopped image of me. <laughs> so if you want to go take a look, you can. I don't know what I was thinking. This was posted originally on September 29, 2012. So almost four years ago. Random fact number 26. I love raw corn on the cob. And I still do. I love it. I think I prefer it to cooked corn on the cob. To me, there's just nothing like fresh, uncooked corn on the cob. It is juicier and sweeter and tastier. Just like it so much. And I do like cooked corn on the cob too, but love me some raw corn. <laughs> Number 27. I have never played a game on Facebook. Now, I'm so dumb about things like games that I don't even know if the games really are on Facebook. I just know that I'll get a lot of notifications from people that they played this or that. Never have even looked into it. I'm not a, a game player. Well, I shouldn't say that. I do like some games, like on my iPad sometimes. If I my brain is just fried, I'll, I'll just play some game and... But I'm not, you know, I don't spend hours playing games, and I certainly can say it's rare that I play them. But I've never done anything on Facebook like that. I don't even know what those games are about. Number 28. Now, at the time, this was very true. I have since gotten used to it. I miss the old TV guide. Remember when the TV guide was, like, Reader's Digest size, not as thick, and it gave you the shows. You, it wasn't like this grid that you had to look at and study. And, you know, when it turned into like more like a celebrity magazine, I was like, boo hoo 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 hoo. And I used to love the crossword puzzles in the TV Guide, but I liked it on that TV Guide page, not the glossy page like it is now in that celebrity style TV Guide. So I was just so sad. And now I don't have a TV Guide at all. That was a staple in this house. I grew up with the TV Guide coming in the mail, and I loved to read it from cover to cover and do the crossword puzzle. And I still continued to get it for a long time because I just couldn't imagine my life without TV Guide in the mail. But then, like, the last whole year I got it. I don't know if I opened one of them. So now I go to TVGuide.com to look up stuff. No more paper TV Guide in the mail. No more TV Guide beads. <laughs> Number 29. I have green eyes. I don't know if they're necessarily still green. As we get older, I think we lose our coloring. But one thing for sure is when I wore contacts, my eyes were super green because I wore green, soft contact lenses. And it made my eyes, I mean, like a vibrant green. And if the light, the sunlight hit them, it I mean, it looked reptile-like. And I used to freak people out. And I just loved that. If... I were rich and could just afford contact lenses for the fun of it, I would still get non-prescription contacts just to have green eyes that bright again. used to like that. This one has changed. We're already up to number 30. I wear a size 10 shoe. I still can get away with a 10 in some shoes, but sometimes I take an 11. For years, I wore size 9, like all through my 20s and stuff. But then as you gain weight, more pressure on the foot kind of flattens it and fattens it and lengthens it. I don't know. But I'm a 10 or an 11. Mostly 11. 
<laughs> and that is it for the final random facts from my blog. So I will just have to start thinking up new things. I think that's what made me stop doing the series is that I was having trouble thinking up things. You would think that a random fact that is just foolishness and silliness and meaningless should be very easy to come up with. But try. Try making a whole list of random facts about yourself. Oh, any of my peanut gallery members, you can do this series too. That would be fun. Alrighty, I'm putting it out there. I want my PGMs, my peanut gallery members, to give it a try. It would be really, really fun to hear what your random facts are. But it is hard to come up with them sometimes. Alright, that is it for now. Thank you for watching. Bye!